Nest Oil Limited is a member of the Obi Jackson Group, which commenced operation in 1991 to showcase the expertise and competence of Nigerians in the Nigerian oil and gas sector, which was mainly dominated by the international oil companies, IOCs. Nest Oil, as the organization is fondly called, was originally engaged in blending and marketing of petroleum products. However, as a result of its dynamic management and technical competence, identified an opportunity in the oil and gas sector and reinvented itself as an engineering, procurement, construction and commissioning EPCC services company. Ernest Azujalu Obiejezi is the group managing director and chief executive. Nest Oil Limited was formed in 1991 uh, as an oil and gas service company. But actually, um, when we formed the company, we started off as a blending company. But um, within the, after about two years, we, uh, we realized that the blending business or the competition in the blending business is something that we are not quite comfortable with because we see ourselves competing with Texaco and uh, all the big companies. So we started looking into other areas of the oil and gas business. So, but when we looked at these areas, we find out that the oil and gas business has a gap. There's a lot of money that is being made, you know, by this section or these sectors of this sector of the economy, where the oil, the oil production is being sold or the crude is being sold outside Nigeria. But the cost of production of that oil is something that we believe Nigerians were not um, participating. So we decided to look into that segment of the industry and we found out that most of the works, so most of the services has been provided by foreign companies within Nigeria. So we decided to focus Nest Oil into that particular segment and we started uh, you know, doing presentations, started talking to the IOCs and then um, by the time you know it, we started uh, getting uh, jobs and services provided for some of these companies. So Nest Oil now kind of created a niche for himself by being one of the first indigenous companies to go into the service uh, business. George Osaho, Director, Department of Petroleum Resources, DPR, which is the regulating body for the oil and gas sector in Nigeria, speaks on the activities of the department. When you want to do business in the oil and gas industry, you need a license or a permit to do it. Of course, you know all the categories of permit you have to take. If you want to sell ordinary kerosene, <coughs> you must take permit from the DPR. If you want to drill for oil, you have an operating company, you must take permit from the DPR. That means the DPR must have an idea of what it takes for you to give you a permit, what you need to do, how you need to do it, when you should do it, what the obligations are to government with respect to what you are doing. So because of that, the DPR, apart from the law, which is the guiding principle for everything we do, has some guidelines that are put in place for you to know what to do with respect to each of these operations that you have to go through. So we deal with everybody that's operating, whether you operate as a company into oil and gas activities, or you operate as a service provider. When it also comes to data, Data is one of the major areas of our activity. In fact, without data, we are dead because that is what the country feeds on. You probably want to understand it that way, but the truth also is if anybody wants to do any business anywhere here, you want to know exactly what has been going on. What am I going to do? How am I going to do it? And that means you need data. And we protect the data as much as possible, and that's one of the things where we're trying to structure so that anybody can go on our website and download data but it's not going to be free. One other area which everybody has addressed, which I think people are happy with, is the one we call oil and gas industry service permit. Uh, it's the permit you must take for you to operate in the oil and gas industry as a service provider. And what we've done is to computerize the system. So if you want your permit, what you should take like two weeks, three weeks, one month, six months, as the case may be, is now 72 hours. You apply online, you collect your document. It is instructive to note that Nestor, a proponent of global best practices, also have other companies to function efficiently and effectively. These include the Energy Works Technology Limited, EWT, 
and ISO certified manufacturers of pressure vessels, process plant equipment, as well as oil and gas steel structures fabricator. Also, NESHAC, a company that specializes in the horizontal directional drilling (HDD) technique in pipeline construction. NESHAC boasts of an experienced crew, two rigs permanently stationed in Nigeria, and the possibility to deploy more rigs and pipe pushers. One of the achievements that Nest Oil um, had to its name is um, one of the major, the biggest pipeline that has been you know, constructed in the, in the oil and gas industry. Nest Oil has built so many kilometers of pipelines for sure. And as, you know, as it stands today, Nest Oil is one of the most successful oil and gas um, services company you know, in Nigeria. More recently, you know, over the past two years, Nest Oil is also constructing the biggest pipeline ever built in Nigeria, the OB3 pipeline. That pipeline takes, um, you know, gas, you know, from the, you know, from the, from the delta, you know, up to the north towards uh, Oben. So, you know, for Nest Oil, it's a company that has achieved so much that sometimes it's difficult for people to believe that it's a purely 100% uh, Nigerian company. So, we, you know, we've done so much in terms of um, facility construction, the pipelines, and um, also in um, other areas of the services. Today, Nest Oil has diversified further into um, dry docking, dredging, you know, and HDD, you know, uh, uh, horizontal uh, directional drilling which is like the new technology for laying uh, pipelines. So there have been other companies that have just sprang up as a result of uh, the services that Nestor was able to provide in the industry. In addition, the Shipside Dry Dock is one of the subsidiary that is able to streamline its docking activities in the bid to meet its objectives for safe working conditions and a variety of services for vessels. When we started, uh, we had a... Um, we had issues with uh, the kind of jobs we were able to, you know, um, accept within the industry. But uh, you know, over the time, over the time, we found out that um, the most of the jobs being given to Nigerian companies or what the IOCs were able to provide for us were just little or you know, civil and uh, mechanical jobs. So we decided to refocus, you know, into the pipeline uh, construction industry. So Nest Oil actually now had to focus more into the mechanical uh, you know, uh, segment of the industry and over the years we built capacity in pipeline construction, flow lines, um, you know, construction and um, most of the mechanical works required for oil production. So the, the products of Nest Oil today is in the, in, in the pipeline construction in major fabrications. We do major fabrications for most of the IOCs and uh, we aid the IOCs in um, you know, in building uh, production facilities. I mean, in short, in short terms, you can say that once the oil comes out of the ground, Nest Oil can take care of uh, the product from that time till uh, it's exported. So we take care of uh, all those uh, facilities and all the services required to get oil, um, you know, into the tankers. With a vision to deliver innovative customer-focused solutions safely, Nest Oil established an aviation department Nest Ave to provide safe, reliable, comfortable, and qualitative charter services. The vision of Nest Oil Limited is to be the leading integrated services um, and innovative solution provider in our chosen markets. Then, for our mission, you know, we deliver integrated services, you know, uh, integrated services and solutions to our customers safely to make sure that also when we deliver some of these services and solutions we do them under a very safe environment and make sure that also the workers go home safely given its deep knowledge and understanding of the operating environment nest all combines professionalism modern technology and human capital to achieve set goals of its valued clients the oil and gas industry you know over the period you know, within, within which Nigeria was producing oil has also gone through a kind of transformation because initially the Nigerians were not involved in the production of uh, oil so the required manpower and the required technology transfer 
you know, that would have enabled this production uh, services or even the, the EIP business to concretize in Nigeria was not there. So within that period here now, there is, there is this gap you know, that exists between what Nigerians were able to do on their own and what the IOCs were able to do on their own. So there's a gap between you know, what is being done in terms of uh, uh, personnel, in terms of a uh, technical transfer, and even in terms of uh, production itself. So the volume of oil that can be produced in, you know, in an economy is a function of further exploration activities, drilling, you know, um, uh, daily production, and uh, also making sure that all the right parameters are all met. So I believe that you know, this gap is as a result of uh, you know, lack of uh, you know, interest in uh, getting the Nigerians involved in the day-to-day -day activities of, uh, you know, of um, oil production. So because of that, that gap exists you know, and, uh, until when such issues like uh, local content laws you know, you know, became so uh, ineffective within the industry that this gap can actually be breached. Operating on the core values of integrity, innovation, teamwork, leadership, excellence. Nest Oil believes the sky is not the limit, but the beginning. Nest Oil actually, you know, is expected to be, you know, one of the first, you know, uh, public quoted companies, you know, in Nigeria. They, you know, the, in the next five years, Nest Oil should be, you know, uh, quoted in Nigerian Stock Exchange and also possibly also in the London Stock Exchange. So we expect Nest Oil to go international. Also, within the next five years, I mean, we should we should be talking about next oil in Angola, next oil in some of the uh, countries where we have oil, and you know that are already prospecting their oil now. So we believe that um, for me, next oil uh, should be uh, an international player within the next five years. But more importantly, is that uh, next oil will be quoted in Nigerian stock exchange. The plan is already on, and we know that within the next few years, it will be actualized. Ernest. Azudialu Obiejezi's wealth of experience in the oil and gas sector have no doubt positioned him as a sinusoid of all eye, given the number of awards in his kitty. He, however, shares with us some of his challenges. What we've done over the years is also to make sure that we bridge the gap between what the experts have been doing for us and what the Nigerians you know, can do. So we've been able to transform completely most of the things that we hire experts to do overseas, you know, to do them in Nigeria. You can see, I mean, Nest Oil um, has grown to be a 100% Nigerian oil and gas company. We don't have experts, I mean, working for us anymore. We just sometimes guess that even when we want to do some special, um, some special, um, you know, type of um, jobs. But Nigerians has actually taken over the industry and we are 100% Nigerian company. We build so many capabilities, so many capacity in the in different uh, aspects of uh, our work. Nest Oil um, has um, has uh, its own challenges. The challenges is you know is also um, similar to what you have in uh, most of the developing economies. The major challenge also in, uh, in Nest Oil today so is uh, the ability to you know to create the enabling um, or the capable uh, manpower that. You know that should sustain the growth in the company. We we'll have the manpower problem, making sure that the people we are training to take over from the expatriate, uh, the, the experts that work in the company, are competent, and also that these Nigerians are also there to continue over the years to to grow. You know within the company. So uh, apart from those, um, you know, personal challenges, we we'll have also financial challenges. You know that um, Nigeria as a country and the, the Nigerian uh, banking industry is also not so strong enough to support the oil and gas business. So the, the, there is problem with the finance, there is also a uh, problem of uh, manpower, but also more importantly also is uh, the ability to, you know, to conquer all the challenges within the communities where we work.